24 years old, uh, Boston, I feel really, I feel all I got left. I can't change anything right now. I've been Boston for 12 years, and that's, it's been my whole life. I feel it will be the rest of my life. Um, some people like to work in offices or go to college, but I want to be a boxing champion. I like to have a, a dream come true. I like to have a dream come true for myself, for myself, for my five neighbors, for my relatives. I like to someday for them to look on TV or hear it on the radio that Steve Gray, Steve is going to be involved in a world title shot. I believe that I deserve a title shot. I'm 20. You know, I believe I work hard. I deserve a title shot. Someday, Steve Gregory will have a title shot. Boston's really glamorous, but it's really not. You know, you take your road work, you get up early in the morning, you get out in the rain, the mud, the rain, mud, you run around, and the summer is so hot, and you get out and you're running in the heat, and then from there you go into the gym. To the gym. And the gym's real hot in the summer, you might lose, you know, 15, 20 pounds a week if you don't get eat right and stuff. But I don't know, I've never seen anything glamorous about it. Well, once you're in the gym, you know, the sweat's just rolling off of you. Your clothes are soaked. You're training about 40 rounds a day. My manager's Johnny Johnson, Angelo Dundee. Uh, Angelo Dundee, I'm really very proud to be associated with. He has all the big name fighters. Uh, they keep me training really hard. They make sure I'm ready for every fight. My manager's they went to title fight as much as I do. They've been working with me right by my side from the very beginning. Uh, when I train, I train just for an individual opponent, his style, his strategy. When I'm working on the bag, there's, on the bag, there's nothing else I think of but that opponent, and I want to win that fight. Be one of his Larry partners. Dunley? Hi, Terry Blair. We're just going to see how it feels the night of the big fight. How's that? Oh, excuse me. I've been to take off to see you. Okay, nice, nice to meeting you. you. Well, champ, are you ready for the big fight tonight? I better be by now. What are you going to look for in your opponent? Opening. I might have to create opening. Do you know anything about him, his weaknesses, his strong points? Well, that's what worries me. I mainly know anything about Charlie. Benjamin, he's been fighting out a correctional institution, uh, Connecticut State Prison, and I'm unaware of his style, ability, or punching power. Doesn't that bother you? No, I'm an aggressive fighter, so I'll just primarily be aggressive and, and make an, an opening. Does it make you nervous tonight fighting in your hometown? You went to Columbus South High School? Yeah, I got a lot of friends out there. I got a reputation they'll pull. How are you going to feel when you enter that ring tonight? Great. It's always great fighting in Columbus. It's, it's something that uh, I feel only an individual athlete or athlete, a boxer or wrestler can really experience going to accept all those glory by himself. Person. He's a young man who Pete Brown, who Pete Brown said, 
said, the player personnel director of the Bengals, he never saw an athlete pay a higher price for victory. He's a young man who Kim Wood, the Bengals weight coach said if you put 60 pounds on him, he'd be the best linebacker in the National Football League. He's a young man that Angelo Dundee, the greatest trainer manager in all of boxing, says it's going to be a world champion someday. He's a very special person. And I look at you and say, I love you, Steve Bradbury. As you're walking up to the ring, it's really hard to describe. Uh, you feel tension, you're nervous, and you're eager for you're anticipation of the bout or the victory. A lot of questions running through your mind, and people are telling you good luck and everything. And, you know, at one point in time, uh, you really ask yourself, why do I do this? Uh, I guess I do it because I have a lot of people behind me pushing me, and I love boxing. All right, okay, all right. Sometimes I wonder how I got this far. Is it? And I think there's an awful lot of dedicated people behind me. Uh, John Johnson, Angelo, Angelo, and my family. They're people who want to make me a champion. Stevie? I feel good. I feel good. That's good, my man. That's great. We're going to make it, Stevie. You know that? Yeah. I believe we will. God's been good to us, and we're going to make it. we got 20 undefeated now. we got to start on 30 tomorrow. So let's go home.